I'm Christy. I'm Jason. I'm Ariella. And this is Cecilia. And we are. I, I want to camp, camp with, with you. you. It's a beautiful night. We're looking for something fun to do. Hey, campers, I want to camp with you. Sun finally came out, so we're going for a walk around the property. We're going to walk down to the pond so Aubriella and Daddy can fish. And I'm just going to show you a little bit of the property here. On the left is the pool. And there's some tent sites over that way. And we're back up on the top of the hill there. Okay, so there's the pool. It's obviously closed right now. Um, there's some little cabins, another campsite. I'm going to continue down the hill here. And now we're near the bottom of the hill, and there's the pond. It's super pretty out here. There's a little picnic area with horseshoe pits and all that. And if it wasn't for COVID-19, all of this stuff would be available. But obviously with social distancing, that stuff's a little hard. But there is a playground across the way there, if you can see that. So, we're going to walk towards the pond now, so I can get a little bit of a closer view for you. Super peaceful and very pretty. down to the bottom of the hill to the fishing pond and it's very pretty down here everything is so peaceful the Sun has finally come out and there's only one other person way across there little benches here if you want to fish or just sit down and read and enjoy the beautiful scenery if you look back up the hill where we are staying, the pool is located right up there, which is obviously closed right now for two reasons. One, it's a little chilly, and two, COVID-19 is kind of ruining all the group activities everybody has going on. But I think we're going to hang out here for a little bit and enjoy the scenery. Good job. There's my fishing pole out there. Hi. Well, your pole's right there, but your bobber's out there. Yeah. Leave it out there. Okay, we are leaving the fishing pond, going for a walk around the park so I can show you the rest of the Carolina country campground that we are staying at this weekend. Now we're on the other side of the pond. Here's the different angle. They do have paddle boats for, again, a time when COVID-19 is going on. And there's the playground again. And some more people up the hill. We asked to be on the more private side, which right now they weren't too busy. So we were able to get a real private spot up that way up the hill. Okay, we're continuing up the hill. It's a really pretty piece of property. Looking back at the pond, they have a little putt-putt course that they've just recently repainted up here, and a basketball court, and up there's the main office. Some more campers over that way. Getting a closer view of the putt-putt course. It looks really cute. It's got things like a little barn and a boat. Sheriff's station. 
and another little barn. And look at that, a little pink RV, isn't that cute? And if you continue up the hill up here, they have a little petting zoo. Here at Carolina Country Campground. Just pretty views all around. Nice peaceful park. Hasn't really been any loud noises or anything. It's not a crazy campground. Looks like once things are able to open up, they would have ice cream and things like that at the office, which is kind of nice. And during this whole mess, to avoid contact and all, they actually leave your stuff right there in that box, so you're able to grab it out and sanitize however you see fit and not have any contact with anybody when checking in. And there's the petting zoo right there. All the little animals, this little barn. So yeah, there's the box where they would leave your stuff at. And here's some information about the campground. They have firewood available, fresh eggs available, and of course the fishing pond. And it tells you about a 30 amp service and what all is used. And here's a closer view of the actual map of the campground. And there's the office number. When you walk around this other side, here's the rest of the petting zoo area. Again, just so pretty and peaceful. And there's the entrance where we came in yesterday. Walking back down the hill this way to the other side of the campground where we aren't just to see what's on that side and give you guys a look at it. And here's a bathhouse with a dump station at it, conveniently located. There's some more camper sites. Laundry. And they do have a dumpster there to throw your trash in. And on this side, the bathrooms are right there, which they're all closed. They're only taking people who have self contained bathrooms, obviously, because of COVID. When you continue to walk this way, there's more sites up the hill. This is looking back at the pond from this angle. Personally think these sites have the prettiest view. Just in case you're wondering what site numbers these are, that's seven, that's eight, and that's nine. And up here is 11. I think that one over there is like prime real estate. It's got the perfect view of the pond. It's on its own little corner. And I'll let you know what site number that is when we get to it. They also have cabins available. That looks like cabin number 7. And eight, I believe, up on top of the hill behind the pond. And we're walking around the loop. That is number 16. So yeah, 
their view is perfect and it's on a private corner so optimally if you could get that that would probably be the best place and then you got 17 right here so that would have a good view as well 18 would have a great view and it's got the shaded trees and I guess that would be 19 so yeah those would all be pretty good 16 through 19 have like the best views I think and nice trees and their own little private area kind of with the hill in front of them leading down to the pond they're all in 30 amp according to their map legend they're all full hookup and 30 amp so designated 50 amps throughout the park and they're shown on the map. Map legend 33, 34, 35. Site number 33, 34, and 35 are 50 amp. 50, 51, 52. 50, 51, 52. Also 42 and 46. 42 and 46. So those are going to be up towards where we're staying on the other side. There's no 50s on this side with this view. See, are you having fun? Yeah, 19 might actually be any of these right here would be nicer than 16 because you kind of don't really have anybody on this side of you at all until you come over here. But there's a big space in between you and them, and it's near the playground, which is currently closed due to COVID. Um, but yeah, if you hear that saw in the background, they're actually doing some maintenance on trimming some tree branches and stuff and getting ready for their season to start booming. There's the playground and there's a little uh, shelter area that you can have a little get together at. Um, and a few more sites there. And then we're going to head back down the hill towards where we're staying, which is up on that other side. Mommy. Going back up the hill, back to where the pool was. And I figure we'd show you the view from this angle. That's us, way at the top up there, away from everybody else, because we're crazy, and Mommy's a germaphobe. <laughs> but anyways, um, there are a few of the 50 amp hookups in the middle of this V right here um, that we found. So 50, 51, and 52, I believe it was are uh, 50 amps and they're right in the middle here and then to the left are 60 and looks like 59 so that's going to go up 58 57 56 um, all the way up and around and then there's a space back there that has nothing back to our side which starts at 48 that's the last site on this circle Aubrey is going crazy <laughs> um, but yeah so they've left at least two sites in between everybody for safety purposes which makes me feel good and we're all the way at the end where there's no other spot next to us which is kind of nice because um, it's on our awning side too Okay, here we are, back at site number 48. Home sweet home. So we are back home now after our stay at Carolina Country Campground. And wanted to give you a little bit of a briefing on it. Overall, it was a really good stay. It was quiet, the people were friendly. Check-in was easy and there was no check-out procedures, so um, everything worked out on that end. 
The Wi-Fi was a little spotty throughout the weekend and the grounds on the upper side left a little bit left to be desired but again this is not quite their busy season so uh, maybe they'll fix that up a little bit here in the weeks coming. But overall it was a really great stay. We had a great time and we'd recommend trying it out if you haven't. The rates were okay. Uh, they were a little high but not too bad. Hi. <laughs> Aubrella had a good time and if it wasn't during the COVID mess they obviously would have a few more things for us to do so that may have been a little bit more entertaining for the children. She had a really good time too. We're going camping tonight here. No. <laughs> yeah, we're camping in our yard tonight again. Yeah. Which is obviously our favorite campground. But, uh, not mine. Both of them are my favorite campgrounds. Campgrounds and my campground. Oh, well, our campground. Okay. But <laughs> overall, we enjoyed our time at Carolina Country Campground. And if you wanted to give it a try, we recommend it. Hi, Have a great day. Hey, campers. If you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe and hit the like button. Thank you.